Welcome to After the Final Pour, brought to you by the Malting Hour. I am one of your hosts, Tony Golick, joined always with... Brandon Winninger. And for the first time in about... Fuck, man, when was the last time you were on uh, After the Final Pour? Technically, I was on the one that aired last week. Mm, or, I mean, well, like, well, the the here, last here, after the final pour. You're actually drinking a beer. Because everyone this. could hear me very well okay. talking to Instagram. Just answer the question. Clark Fetridge is here. Mm, Clark Fetridge. Hey, man. Uh, Clark, what? You you supplied the, the beer. I did. I uh, went on a work trip to... Tell us about it, baby. St. Cloud, Minnesota. Tell us all about this beer, Clark. And when I go on I work I want trips, you to tell us about the beer that we're about to drink. Right here, okay. right now. So, Let's hear all about it. Saying... Let's go. When I go on a work Here's trips, Clark. I go to breweries, and I'm not joking. I go to any brewery I can, and sometimes two breweries in one night. So this time, I went to Pantown Brewing Company in St. Cloud, Minnesota. This beer is called The Riveter, and they brewed it in March of this year on International Women's Day. And it was all the fine ladies from Pantown Brewery Company. And I had this that night, and it was my favorite beer might be one of my favorite beers so far of the year. Ooh. It's an imperial sour flavored with blueberry, lemon, marshmallow, and graham cracker. So does this uh, contender for the Maltese for you? As I was just speaking, it is, actually. I might agree with you. Holy I, shit. I, I <laughs> really enjoy this. This is like a berry and then key lime pie. Like it is a nice key lime pie. That's a great yeah. call. Yeah, like key, there's, it's, it tastes like key lime pie, but then with like if you're for some reason you're like I want to fucking throw more like berries on top of this. Yeah, holy shit, this is really good. It's not super sour. No, um, it's got a nice tartness to it. And Tony, you had said I don't, I don't, I wasn't recording at the time. I don't think, but when when you were pouring it, you're like, oh great, fruit punch, and like it. But the the aroma is it's kind of like a fruit punch. Absolutely. Aroma. Um, and you get. If somebody gave this to me and I didn't know what it was, I wouldn't have expected it to be slightly sour. Right. Um, but the sourness really lends well to, like you said, key lime pie. Like, it just it, it works so well making this a sour. So if you were sitting on your stoop, right, and you had this crawler here, and someone walked in and was like, Hey, man, have you had that Riveter Blueberry Lemon Imperial Dessert Stout? Wouldn't, wouldn't what that would you guy, give it? Wouldn't that guy say something about, hey, you there on the stoop? Nope, he just said, oh. hey, man. Oh, so he's just yeah. literally walking by. Yeah. Okay. He's walking by. Um, what would you give it? Man, <laughs> I'm like 4 two, five. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm like at a 4 5 on this yeah. one. Yeah, it's interesting. I looked at my untapped from March, uh, March 23rd of this year. I gave it a 4.5. And, and for me, that's high praise. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. I don't just hand out 4 and a half. I'm starting plus. to get better with my ratings like three isn't bad and i need to like that's half that's like more than half yeah you know like we've spoken about this before yeah you and i especially used to be pretty hard on some beers and then we, I, then we like lightened up too much it, that's true four became at, like oh that's a standard when beer. i was at shorts for another uh, work trip which we'll get into probably in another episode i was looking at a check-in for another beer i had up there and i'm like i gave it a three and I was ready to give it a four this time. So I think over time we've kind of learned how to yeah. manage the point scale. Well, like even the El Jefe Loco that I had today mm-hmm. here in the Multi Hour Studios, uh, which you're ever, if you're ever here, remember to check it in at the Multi Hour Studios. Um, it it's a good beer. It's not for me. I don't think cause I don't think I, I don't really care for the heavy clove Hefeweizens anymore. But a three five is still like that's a good rating out of five. Yeah, like three and a half. Like I, I think it's three a and good half, beer to it's me. A... Means that's a very good beer. Yeah, and I want to drink it a lot. Oh, that's so that's for you. Do you want to drink it a lot for a three five? Three five. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like I, I will go back to this. It's not four. The most four amazing. for me is I'm gonna go back to this okay. yeah. and like constantly drink it. Like yeah. But it's interesting now that you're saying that I'm going well. I probably give basic beers like an IPA with just one hop a three a lower scale but yeah. when somebody does something more interesting like this I tend to want to increase that rating more and that's based so the ratings are bullshit well yeah that, that, well, I know it, well, exactly ratings, yeah <laughs> ratings are just based on your own personal preference right you know what I mean like we just did the Bourbon County episode well, and like I, I think <clears throat> I gave that prop I think like a three something and today I probably would have given it 
closer to a four at least you know yeah, or maybe but a it's four, also two, like in the moment in the environment exactly like what you're drinking or have drinking already you know and that's why like especially at beer fests when people it's hard like, to, uh, yeah do, like do ratings and stuff like it's hard to like yeah it's hard to do the ratings like in the moment like um and I know, like, when we were at uh, New Glarus for the Beer, Bacon, and Cheese Festival, like, I was, I was, I had a note going, and I was... Me too, yeah. We were at, just we were trying to, like, write stuff down. Um, and if I didn't like it, I was putting a note. If I if I liked it, I was just like, hey, just the name of the beer. Oh, you mean, like, um, the guy who said, let's go Brandon from oh, the yeah. brewery? Yeah. Right. Fuck those guys. Yeah. I saw your chickens. Well done. Oh, thanks. Um, but back to this beer... This beer, I think you might be right, Clark, who was asked by Brandon. <laughs> this might be a Maltese contender for me. The other, the, I know that the other multi, like other high praise Maltese contender for me, it might not all be like barrel aged beers from local this year because I don't remember the actual name, but the brewery from Tampa Bay Green Bench. Yep. That. Dry hopped saison, or that was like the IPA that was blended with a saison, or some shit like that. That still remains probably my favorite beer for this year, next to the odd sides atmosphere and attitude, because that's still up there as well. Oh, fuck, man, there's so many beers. Now I'm thinking have about you, the Maplewood. Have, have you fucking, had it? Which one? The odd sides, the atmosphere and attitude. I don't think so. There was one you oh, yeah, shared no. with me. It's got crazy shit on the yeah. label. Did we have that before? The oh, I brought it Crash to you. test dummy. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I brought. Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Eight different you things, and you could yeah. actually taste all eight. Yes. Different things. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. That yes, was yes, the last yes. one that I shared one with Kevin, and I shared one with him. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That, that, that one is, is awesome. and then he made then Brandon made an ice cream out of it, which is also very. That's good. That's right. Yeah. I'm still pecking away at the last ice cream he gave me because I can't finish it. I just I don't want to finish it. Jesus Sorry, Christ. I dropped something. Okay, uh, <laughs> man, Clark, this is a, a home run, man. So, Pantown Brewing Company, they're from St. Cloud, Minnesota. St. Cloud, Minnesota. Really cool place. Uh, I was there on a Tuesday night. I think they had an awesome guy playing guitar. He kept dropping things, just like <laughs> just like me. But uh, no, this stood out, and I was like, I've got to bring this back. The I, I guess my only complaint is that I think some of the graham cracker flavor has dropped out a tiny bit in the three months it's been in the crawler. Okay. Um, that's all. But this is this is like a, a key lime pie that's giving me a slight bit of heartburn. But that's just me. So like, what what is what's the actual name of the beer? The Pantown? Riveter. Town. No, the, 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 oh, the beer. Uh, the Jesus. Riveter. Clark, stay in your fucking lane. I'm sorry. I'm... He asked me a question. I know he was asking me the question. And who are because, you again? Uh, my name is Tony. I'm one of the hosts of the Malting Hour. Um, I don't listen very often. Always sorry. joined with Brandon Winninger. Yeah, and sometimes you're here. Okay. Yes, I so am. Stay in your lane. Okay. Pantown Brewing, the Riveter is the name of the beer, Brandon. Okay. Noted. I don't know if I ever want delicious on this. Uh, any last words on this beer, guys? Other than Pantown, please keep making this and Clark Cleep 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 glowing to St. Cloud. Cloud, Minnesota. Oh, was two years in a row. Maybe it'll be three. We'll see. Oh. Distribute to Chicago. Yes, like. please, because I would. This man, Laura would love this beer. My wife would absolutely love. Yeah, this she beer. likes sours. Me know. She does. Oh, okay, cool. Clark's here and wants to call me out and shit. Maybe I won't edit anything. Is Dan here too? <laughs> Maybe know? I won't edit anything. Yeah, just like what Dan said. Dan, I mean, like, just, just a kid's birthday just keep party. Doing what you're doing is what you're supposed to say. <laughs> Brandon, I love you. Love you too, bud. Clark, get fucked. Starting to See hate you guys more. More. <laughs> Bye. Buy this beer if you can. This has been the Malting Hour. Be sure to follow us on all social media by searching The Malting Hour and at themaltinghour.com. You can also follow us individually on social media. Brandon can be found on Instagram as bmdub81, on Twitter, bdub81, and on Untapped as bdubdrinksbeer. Tony can be found on Instagram and Untapped under Ace of Help Chicago, on Twitter, the Ace of Help Chicago. Clark can be found as Clarkowski on all three. Dan can be found on Instagram as hip underscore underscore hops and hip hops on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe, like, and rate the show on your preferred podcast listening platform. Until next time, cheers from all of us at the Malting Hour.